Good morning, 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 morning. I'm having my uh, morning. Mm. It's not coffee or tea. It's actually kombucha. I make it at home, and I mix it with um because this batch has actually gotten a bit more vinegary. I've um mixed a bit of diet, you know, zero sugar um, lemonade with it, so it works quite well. It's not gonna heal my lips off so to speak but I came across this interesting reddit um, basically saying that this person is is wanting to get in the kink and they are actually finding it really difficult because they're they said they're starting late like as in an older and years person and that they're a larger larger girl um, and go to I found this on reddit BDSM advice um, pretty good site, lots of good people and helpful people there. Um, and they said they haven't been able to find a group of um, like people in that they're also larger and you know into whatever kink that they're into. And basically, my thoughts on that are welcome to the club, you know, um, kink safely. And a lot of the people that into, you know, I don't know, body image shaming or something like that, unless it's your kink, um, really it's it's not necessary to get I mean, some people think, okay, if I was skinny, these things would be a lot easier for me, like getting into the equipment, certain positions and, and all that sort of stuff. I said, well, yes. Um, there are standard and average sizes and weights people are at, however, not everybody's the same, not everybody's physical capabilities the same, not everybody was an ex-gymnast that, you know, is like a size zero, and you don't really want that, and a lot of kinksters that I've come across, they're like, mm, no, I, I like my girls with a bit more curves, I find their bodies really interesting, and there's some whose partners are not as physically able, so they're actually having to find ways around it, and they find that challenge much better for them than they would for just any old normal person. It see, I I do find it interesting. I understand how some people can do that sort of stuff, but there shouldn't be this divide of us and them when it comes to body image. I mean everybody's different and everybody should be treated differently I I'm just I mean being healthy is one thing I mean if and it's their choice on how they want to be I mean you can have somebody who's who looks normal and healthy but inside they're like starving they're really unhealthy like appearances aren't everything when I was really big um, I actually went to various doctors and all that sort of stuff and they asked me about my diet and they did blood work on me and it was basically, um, they were like, oh, okay, that's interesting. I said, well, what? I said, well, you're definitely a larger girl, but all your blood workups and everything that they would assume was really high, like, you know, really high bad cholesterol, really high in the fats and all that sort of stuff, was at the lower end of normal. So they said, well, obviously you process things a lot differently and for you this is healthy and they did did some I went and did some physical exams because I was going away to um, a particular job where I needed to have one and they were surprised at how strong and flexible I was and all that sort of stuff and I went well you know just because I'm overweight doesn't mean I'm not healthy or can do exercise or exercise regularly because even when I was overweight I was still going to the gym um, three or four times a week and that's for like at least, you know, a couple of hours. And I'm not talking about a couple of hours of just sort of listening to my music, taking selfies and all that sort of stuff. This is a couple of hours involved at least uh, 45 minutes of cardio and then weight training, like really intensive weight training and then stretching it out and all that sort of stuff. Um, so that's, and sometimes sauna, you know, get all the bad toxins and stuff and that out of your system. So it, you can never tell just by looking at people, how healthy they are and how capable they are of of doing um, certain activities when it comes to being a kinkster. 
so um, let me see uh, so they want to find a space that's, okay there's no particular spaces that I can really recommend anyone go to other than just sort of go to a few different places and find out where you are most comfortable being and you could be surprised I mean the first time I went to um, some kink events I was totally surprised there wasn't a whole lot of people like in the movies that were all like size zero and skinny and young and fantastic and plastic they were just average people from all over different socio-economic, cultural, religious, whatever backgrounds and it was it was like a really eye-opening moment. You just go, oh, okay, so it's not where all the so-called beautiful people are supposed to go or can go or do go and all the so-called ugly people go everywhere else. And I find that really, I find it really interesting and really good. Um, so I'm hoping um, I'll reach out to this person and um, see if I can have a chat with them one-on-one -on -one and, you know, ask them a few questions and all that and just make them realise that For some people who are about kink, like a, a particular kink, the body issue doesn't really matter. It's more the kink. You can find ways around a lot of things and you, if you're really, really into your kink, you will find a way around various different things to indulge or to, to have your kink in your life. You know, um, I, I did that. Um, with my kink, my rubber kink, you know, it's like, well, you know, I don't fit into the usual stuff, so um, what can I do? So I have a whole wardrobe that is tailored specifically for me, and I wear it as I can, given my various restrictions, um, my body shape, my body type, um, and the various things, aches and pains that I would get throughout the day and the weather which can play a big part in it and that's something that some things that have absolutely nothing to do with you as a person the weather you know anyway when it comes to finding support when you're a different shape um, whatever as a, a person flexibility health fitness mentality race religion whatever there are people that don't give up. Um, definitely explore a few places. If people are uh, mean to you, don't worry about it. They're nothing to you. They're strangers. Get to know a few people that you're comfortable with, and they will, you know, help you out. There are people out there. Don't lose, don't lose sight of that fact. Okay, people that will want the best for you want you healthy, happy and, and safe in your, your kink. Well, as safe as possible in some kinks, okay? Well, i got to go. Uh, things have got to get started for me. And I'll catch you guys later, okay? But just remember, keep calm, stay kinky, and uh, don't listen to people that you don't know, that you don't care about, that are strangers, you know? I mean, I know that putting myself out here, I, I will get flamed and and stuff all the time. People make comments and everything, but you know what? They they took the time to actually <laughs> read, read through or listen to a lot of my stuff, and and they still have that attitude. I like you know what? That's you. That's your issue. That's not mine. Anyway, catch you guys later. Bye.